Chicago.com. All right, time now to talk about this weather. Beautiful day out there, and uh, it's going to be a nice dry week, it looks like, Lauren. Yeah, and we're heading into a holiday weekend, kind of the unofficial end to summer. So we want nice weather to be outside this holiday weekend. It's looking like we should get that. 85 degrees right now in Denver. Earlier today, we hit 86, which is our normal for this time of year. So just beautiful outside for us. Again, it was just a lovely day. Uh, and tomorrow, uh, we'll warm up just a little bit more. But for right now, we have a nice evening in store. We have the 80s and 90s out in the eastern plains. 70s in the high country right now for the most part. 81, though, in Avon. 89 over in Grand Junction. And tomorrow, we jump up a bit. 92 here in Denver and Boulder. 94 in Fort Collins and Greeley. Mid to upper 90s out east. So we do jump up a little bit. We're not heading back close to 100, but it will be a warm day out there. 75 in Breckenridge. 77 in Vail. And then 89 over in Grand Junction. Across the Front Range tomorrow, 93 in Brighton, 92 in Aurora, 91 in Centennial, 92 in Littleton, and then as we head up towards Fort Collins, 93 in Loveland and Longmont. Now as we zoom on in to Arapahoe County, we're looking at 92 in Cherry Hills Village and Greenwood Village, 91 in Centennial, 92 in Aurora, and 92 in Littleton. Now as we zoom on into your neighborhood, we're looking at Columbine, 91 degrees. It's a hot day with plenty of sunshine. Again, it's going to be warm outside, but we're not worried about thunderstorms, and it's not too too hot. 90 is still warm, but it's not going to be crazy hot. And what we're looking at here are warm and dry conditions because we have high pressure that's dominating our area. Now, tomorrow we have a cold front that's going to back in tomorrow night and into Thursday, and that cools us off a little bit. And then as we head into the weekend, high pressure just dominates the southwest, and then there's an area of low pressure over the Midwest and Canada. So for the western United States, it stays very warm and dry as we head into the holiday weekend, and it kind of cuts off that monsoonal flow. So what we're looking at is just a few isolated storm possibilities, but that area area of high pressure just entrenches in the western United States and it will keep us fairly mild over the next several days. And what we're watching as we head into our first alert forecast, we are looking at a drier pattern because of some high pressure. A little cold front's going to back into the eastern side of the state. So western Colorado high country, not too impacted by that, but it will cool us off on Thursday. And every day there will be a few isolated thunderstorms, but they will not be very widespread. Right now there's been a little bit of activity in the southern part of the state and that's starting to fade on out for us. And our future cast for tonight, that little bit is gone quickly. Tomorrow morning there's sunshine to start the day. It's a beautiful start to the day and then tomorrow we will see a chance of some thunderstorms near Telluride, uh, Uray, and then into the San Luis Valley. But that's it in terms of moisture. Maybe a pop or two heads into the southern foothills. But otherwise, Colorado is dry tomorrow. Super 7 day forecast that cold front will knock us down to 83 degrees on Thursday. So it's about a 10 degree drop for us. 83 and of course it's a big night in Boulder. We're looking at 77 degrees as the buffs kick off at 6 o'clock and then we're in the mid 60s by the fourth quarter and as we head on into the weekend it is warm again by Saturday uh, 80s uh, and upper uh, eight, upper 80s and low 90s before a little bit cooler on Sunday with some storm chances back in the forecast and then very isolated on Monday and Tuesday with temperatures right at normal. Mm -hmm. Good weekend. Good yeah, holiday weekend coming up. Lovely. We'll keep you posted because yeah. things can always change but yeah, right absolutely. now it's looking pretty great. All right Lauren thank you. <laughs>